Have you ever wondered what would happen if you mixed up a first-person shooter like Fortnite, a movie like Toy Story, and a tower defense game? Wonder no more, my friends, as developer Digital Cyber Cherries brings us Hypercharged Unboxed, a brand new first-person shooter tower defense set in the world of toys. This is Marty from Nintendo Dads, and this is our review of Hypercharge Unboxed. Playing as one of three type of toys, Hypercharge Unboxed follows Sergeant Max Ammo on his quest to protect the Hypercore. From what, you ask? Other toys. This game isn't just a first-person shooter, it's a co-op gym that mixes the best parts of first-person shooter, tower defense, and online multiplayer, all in a charming package that will make you think you might just be smack dab in the midst of a Toy Story movie. So. Let's get started and talk about what's unique and what's great about this game. From the beginning, it's easy to see that lots of care has been put into this game. From the levels which span storage rooms, toy stores, even bathrooms, as you can see, Hypercharge Unbox nails the world of toys visually in a way that not many other games has been able to. You play as a generic toy, a soldier, a T-Rex, even a knight. But each is rendered lovingly, hearkening us back to the days of yesteryear when all that was on our mind was who was going to win the epic battle in our room or in the hallway or on the stairs. The game's soundtrack is also nice, providing some great background tunes for battle, including ramping up when you hit the final wave occasionally, switching tracks to ratchet up the tension, if you will. Controls for the game are on point, if not a little confusing the first time due to the placement of some buttons like jump and run, but we'll talk about that here in just a minute. In fact, by the end of my first match, I really had it figured out. Speaking of matches, there's lots of options here. PvP and co-op exist both offline and online. Offline, you have the option of single player or split screen for local couch co-op. Thank you. Love it. Online, you have the option of PvP and co-op, squatting up with three other buddies to conquer waves of evil core smashing toys or just taking on someone one-on-one -on -one to prove you're better. Either way is a ton of fun. Look for a video preview of the game Justin and I did here on our channel to watch how a multiplayer match plays out. During the game, collecting coins allows you to build various defenses for your cores. However, each core has a shield as well, which is powered by a single AA battery, which you have to find somewhere in the map and then plug it into the terminal near the core. Defeating waves of enemies gives you smaller coins, and after each wave, extra attachments for your weapons and even gummy cherry life pickups will be scattered around the map, which are ready for the first person who can find them. You'll have five minutes or so to prepare your defenses, or you can simply press A when you're done to start the next wave. You have a limited amount of time to change your mind once you press the A button, but once the wave starts, it's locked in until all enemies have been defeated. Enemies come from all corners of the map seeking to destroy the hypercores. You'll fight runaway robots, terrible tops, even army planes and other dinosaurs in your quest to keep the core safe. But you'll also have your arsenal of weapons and traps, and if you're playing co-op split screen or online, your buddies can watch your back too, and it ends up being a ton of fun playing together. While there's plenty of unlockables to keep you busy, there are a few things that defrayed some of my initial enjoyment of the game. The tutorial that you see in the main menu is nothing more than the images you cycle through, and they don't even give you much in the way of explaining the pace of the game or the objective. When you start out like I did, you just have to simply muddle your way through by playing around and making liberal use of the pause button to go to the menu and look at the controls. The jump and run button being mapped to the R and L buttons respectively isn't my favorite choice for those, especially since most shooters tend to have you click the stick to run and have the jump button as one of the four face buttons, but once I adjusted, I really got used to it and it was fine. Developer Digital Cyber Cherries has impressed us here at Nintendo Dads by being very receptive to player feedback and even has shown a map of where the game is heading in future updates beginning in February, which you can see on the screen right now. 
I'm happy to report a more robust tutorial is incoming, including tweaks and balancing for the game based on players and reviews. It's refreshing to see a developer place so much importance on what the community thinks, and it shows that they truly want us to play and enjoy and love their game. So kudos to Digital Cyber Cherries on that. With all this being said, and at a price point of just $19.99, I believe I can highly recommend Hypercharge Unboxed once it releases on January 31st, 2020. There's plenty here to keep shooter and strategy fans happy, and this is a game we really hope to put into rotation and play with our community. Add in the fact that the developer is eager to listen to fans and fix things, and that the base game, before any tweaks are made, is engaging, fun, and foundationally solid, and Hypercharge Unbox gets a four thumbs up out of five from me. Be sure to look for this game in the near future and keep it locked right here at Nintendo Dads for more previews, let's plays, reviews, and a fresh podcast each Friday wherever you download and listen to podcasts. For the rest of the crew, this has been Marty and our review of Hypercharge Unbox. Bye bye.